What? What? You're... That's another plot twist that I... Okay, bro. Nah, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is this season gonna try and be like, Yo, Divine Season 1's good? Yeah, it was peak? Alright, let's, let's deliver more peak. How about we bring in a way better peak? Yo, what's up, Zero from Nation? It's me, the Zero from Monster here again. We're back with Card Fight Vanguard Divine Season 2. Well, looks like um, I think uh, some people here just don't get it. Um, the reason why I delayed this video is because I am still currently sick. So, if you guys are wondering, you guys have to check my posts. So, that is why I always keep you guys updated on my intro or outro and on my community posts so that you guys are updated as to why I don't post or I don't do posts or I upload it late all right so that is the reason why uh, I'm still recovering but I'm still not okay still not 100% okay but I'm kind of doing better now so yeah anyway better late than ever right so yeah hopefully you guys can check my intro outros and updates on my community posts so that you guys don't ask questions okay uh, i just don't want that to happen ever again that's why i really do appreciate people that are uh, watching my intros and at the same time keeping up to date on my community posts all right so that is why i do appreciate people that are updated on my uh, status right now so let's jump right into this i mean i'm not gonna recap Last episode was good when it comes to the uh, uh, guiding star versus scales. Yeah. So, uh, the voice actor for the vice CEO is actually the same voice actor as Ryuin from uh, Clash of the Elite. So, yeah. I forgot to mention that on the last episode. But, yeah. It is it is that. It is the same CEO voice actor. So, yeah. Anyway, let's jump right into this. My throat is still not okay, so yeah, and yeah, let's jump right in. So I'm just gonna do only one comment of the week. So yeah, that is it for the comments of the week, and let's jump right into Card Five Vanguard Divine Season Two Episode Four. Title is Taboo and Protection: Truth of the Wish. Okay, so yeah. Patreon shout out obviously goes to these lovely members over on my Patreon to get the full reaction, full experience on other animes. But unlike on YouTube right now, Vanguard is completely for free because Vanguard is allowing me to actually upload them. Hopefully, I won't get in trouble in the future because Vanguard so far has been very, very generous when it comes to reactors and content creators to actually, you know release the anime they don't really copyright us so yeah i really do appreciate that bushiro then vanguard so yeah thank you guys so much so yeah anyway before we begin please drop a like comment share and subscribe to the post already since they've decided to watch the video uploads on the channel and also to keep you guys updated subscribe turn the post turn the post notice on and watch the intro and keep an eye out on my community posts all right so that you guys are updated on my status so yeah Anyway, with that being said, without further ado, without further delay, let's get right into it. Bruh, the subtitle again is like this. Crunchyroll really needs to fix the subtitles on Vanguard most of the time. I really hate this. I watched Vanguard on Crunchyroll because it has no ads, so I can watch it directly with no ads. So, yeah, unlike on YouTube, it has ads. So, yeah, <laughs> Crunchyroll fix this issue, please. The subtitles needs to be fixed. It was already fixed last two episodes, last three episodes ago.
Masanori didn't hold back when it comes to Geese Wish. Alden. Once a support, now a main. <laughs> Wow, another parallel. I shall free your mind. What do you mean by that? Okay, opening, right? Yeah, I knew it. I called it. <laughs> is Alden gonna win? I feel like he is. I feel like Jinky's gonna win this fight. But we'll see though. Masanori is really good too, but. I mean, he met his match <laughs> before, it was Suo. When he really felt nothing. Basu. Anata to Ryu. Sugu. If I cough suddenly. I'm sorry. All right, like I said, I am sick. <laughs> okay. Tabu in protection, truth of the wish. Hikari. Still a good brother. Hikari, Asagohan no yoi dictator. Skidona, stew. Why? Why you? Why you being like this, huh? You don't have to be so distant. What? We're still brothers and sisters. Yeah. Is she fed up by his kindness all the time, selflessness all the time? Because it kind of seems that way. It kind of seems like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, all right. Let's go with the wish of Hikari getting their parents back, sure. But like, it feels like to me, it's leading up to where Hikari actually wanted his Oni-chan, um, Akina, to actually be Akina like in the past, you know, before the incident, the accident of Hikari back then. Because that's Akina's guilt, and that's why Akina is being like this now. A very selfless, helpful brother of Hikari. So I'm pretty sure it it's pent up inside of her as to why Akina is like this. And she wants her Onichan, Akina, to be back as to what they were before even though their relationship right now is good but like i feel like i don't know anyway i'm not gonna theorize anymore so that you guys won't criticize <coughs> what is this Oh, 
Ten years ago. Oh god. That's it? それないな。一緒に割るだけにした中じゃない。ユニフォーマーズのことをそう言われるのは心外だね。この宿命決戦、うさんくさいと思わない。どういう意味かな。あ、it <laughs> Wow, okay. True, true, true. He's spitting あのエネルギーの高まりには人知を超える力が存在するという演算結果が出た。そして宿命決戦で集められるエネルギーは運命体制を優に超えると推測される。未知のエネルギーだ。それこそ何が起こるかわからない。ふう。ゾッとしないね
君の運命じゃ。ドルガネイダール。ドロップ<笑> いや、みんなくらい上手です。いや。Can't believe I'm actually cheering for my story this time, huh? I don't know how I feel. But that's why I I'm like keeping a poker face right now. セカンドチェック。サードチェック。クリティカルトリガー。方向の極流のパワープラス。ゾルガのクリティカルプラス I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up Shin. Shin again. Oh my god. <laughs> it has to be another one. It kind of feels like predictable if that's the case. Oh. Oh 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 destined one of protection oh the fierce look. I'm pretty sure that was a commercial break on YouTube. Oh, divine! Wow, this early, huh? Okay. Oh, I actually kind of like that. Shields for protection. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, alright. Cool. Oh, really? Okay. Huh? Oh, okay. キルで一枚ドロー。フフプリをコール。リアガードを無駄死にさせないスキルか。さすがは騎士様。中国こそ騎士の本会。いや。ラシオネールで当たく。スキル発動。一枚ドローし。手札からジェルメントをコール。そのユニットは次の相手ターン終了まで効果で退却せずパワープラス1万。そして元いたラシオネールは手札に戻る。おお。そして元いたラシオネールは手札に戻る。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお
のパワープラス1万ダメージ回復まだ終わりじゃないジェルメントでアタックガードもう1枚のジェルメントでアタックガードターンエンド1ダメージに抑えるとはさすがだねだが守護のデッキの真骨頂はここからだ。OK、Wanna see that? セブシガイガールね。俺のターン<笑> !OK。ソナライド、ゾルガンネイドール。神明の海峡のスキル、方向の極流2枚を退却させ、ドロップのオーダーを手札に加える。ゾルガのスキル、ドロップからフィランダ2枚をコール。パワープラス1万。さーて、どのオーダーを孫をせしようかしら<笑>うん。ジェルメントが2枚ね。オールデンがいるときインターセプトでシールドプラス2万されるカードよく知ってるじゃないかぜひとも退却させたいけど守護の力で退却させられないか、yeah. 仲間を守りそして守られるそれがオールデン率いる守護のデッキだよそう Truly a protection deck 単純なパワーで押し切るのもありでしょう OK let's see it マサノリ Oh green this time Thematic for your color. Sarani Torp Karatozo Stadia Gado no Pao, Puras Gosen. No unit no Pao, Puras Gosen Sriskiru Zorgania Tairu. Torp Karahoko no Gokuru Kor. Pawa Puras H1, Critical Puras H. Torp Kara, Gorin no Kaimo Kor. Pawa Puras H1 Gosen, Critical Puras H. Tumbi a Bantan no Yoda. Divine skill. No, okay. I forgot the divine skill of Zorga. I'm sorry, guys. Nice. Why did I say nice? I'm cheering for Masanori, right? Oh, there you go. Jingi has definitely changed. Jingi is the new Aishi, bro. Oh, wow, okay. He's going all out. Okay. What? Why? You don't have enough? BS. Wait, what? Did Masanori not have enough? Okay. Okay. 
そんな大荷物をいつまで背負うつもりのわけ俺の命が燃え尽きるその日までだ。Yeah, bro is definitely IG now. <laughs> Huh? ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Bro, I did not see this coming. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, let's skip. There's no skip button. Are you freaking serious right now? ファミレスで<笑> Oh, Mikoto's turn. Okay. Supreme love for the ever-changing you. Okay. Supreme love and ever-changing. Interesting. That is it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, I'm honest here. The fight was pretty underwhelming for me. Okay. I'm not I'm not sugarcoating it. The fight was pretty underwhelming. It wasn't like super hype on like the last episode. Last episode was really it was a really good fight, but it wasn't like the best fight. To me, the best fight so far is the very first fight between uh the Faded Clash of uh Akina versus um Nao Senpai. That was a peak fight and at the same time, I love the fight between Akina versus Hikari, the the adult version, or more like the older version. Yeah, it's so weird to see to say that now, but yeah, that the the future Hikari. There you go. That's way better. Yeah, the the Rezile versus Leo Lamorda was a peak fight to me. That to me was like the best fight in the entire season, and especially because it is, it has way more heart into the fight. It's a sibling fight, you know. That's why, to me, that felt much more weight compared to other fights. So, yeah. That's a, a way, you know, that's so peak that I can't even compare other fights. So, I want to see if this new fight between Akina versus Hikari is going to top it off. So, yeah. But so far, that was the peak fight, the most peak fight for me. So, yeah. Peakest of the peak. So, yeah. Anyway, like I said, kind of underwhelming to me. Okay, to me, that doesn't mean that it has to be underwhelming to you as well. Okay, it's only my opinion. If you disagree, then that's fine. But to me, it's just my opinion. All right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one, which is gonna be Mikoto's episode with this probably fan of Mikoto. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. I think yeah, next one will be the one i'm free like literally free so yeah it's either i can upload it faster or just a bit late because i wake up later than usual or later than the schedule of the anime so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys on the next one peace out